Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Connect All product demonstration webinar series. My name is Marites, and I'll be your moderator for today, together with my colleague, Marat. In this session, I am very pleased to introduce you to Doug Bass, our integration expert and solution architect, who will show you how integration between Jira Service Test and BMC Remedy works using Connect All. Just a little housekeeping before we get started. First, today's webinar will, will be available on demand after the live session. We will send you the link afterwards. Next, we'd love to hear from you during today's presentation. If you have any questions during the session, please type them into the question box in your GoToWebinar control panel, and we will bring them up after the presentation. We will have time for Q&A at the end. And last, we would like to encourage you to share today's webinar with your social networks. So without further ado, I'm handing it over now to Doug. Thank you, Maritess, and thank you for everyone joining our uh, demonstration series. Over the last few months, we've been going through a lot of the different use cases uh, that Connect All presents. And today, we're going to look at how you could use Jira, Jira Service Test um, rem with Remedy to integrate your ITSM process. Of course, uh, one of the big uh, information pieces um, these days in this century is how much information we have and the good and the bad of it. How to bridge those gaps, and then I'll go into the demo of Connect All itself. A little bit about myself. Uh, as Maritess said, I'm the solution architect. Um, for the Connect All product, um, have been doing integration um, pretty much all my career, um, and have always been looking forward to um, new technologies, how we would integrate them. It's all about staying ahead of the bus. <laughs> and in my free time, I'm an ocean sailor and love to be on blue water. So let's talk about about a little bit about information uh, these days. Uh, we don't have so many libraries in our house and reference materials. We certainly use uh, online access a lot more frequently now um, to gather the information that we want, whether it's uh, learn how to uh, do a tune-up on your car with YouTube or browsing websites, uh, reading white papers. All of our information is certainly coming from the Internet now. and. Um, definitely self-service. We can go out and we can pretty much find any kind of information that we're looking for. In fact, maybe sometimes too much information. That's what we call information overload. Uh, so much information, so many places, you get billions of hits on a particular search. Um, so we really need help in our lives to sort of whittle through all that uh, large amount of information and see how we can actually um, derive knowledge from the information that we're searching for. Of course, whatever solutions we use to find information, um, they must help us understand what we're reading, um, help us to set up to find this information, maintain it over the long term, and of course be able to scale this. So if new technologies, new systems come out, new ways of finding information, like little Amazon boxes in our house now. <laughs> so uh, lots of different ways of getting this information. But the important point is to how to transfer this into knowledge. So Steve Krug wrote a very interesting book called Don't Make Me Think, Revisit It. I really recommend you take a look at that. And it um, talks about this conversation um, in quite some detail. So, of course, um, from the work perspective, um, we're getting data, we're getting information from a lot of places. In a typical enterprise, you have lots of different applications in place um, in different departments and different business units, maybe around the world, uh, because everybody is using the tool that makes sense to them. Uh, if you're using doing planning, um, something like Jira or Rally might make sense. Um, Remedy, you're doing support and support tickets are coming in. Um, test management systems, customer management systems, and some central place to manage all this. So it's definitely that 
um, work exi is existing in many places for you now. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if we had a robot that would just go out and get all the data you need? Maybe you're a manager and you're trying to make sense of the different tools and the different departments and how your product is all coming together. Maybe you're a developer or a tester and you need to collaborate with other teams in the enterprise. So what you want integration to do for you is you want to be able to slash that manual effort. Instead of searching these systems or entering data in multiple systems, you want that integration to help you with that manual effort. Um, improve your time to value. You have lots of information in a lot of these systems. You need to be able to wade through that information, find out what's really valuable for you, and translate that into some value or to some knowledge. Of course, immediate feedback when something happens, when a release isn't get, getting done on time, or you have a large number of errors that are coming up when you're doing testing. You want that kind of feedback. Customers are coming to you and say, oh, we, you know, the product features now need to change. The functionality is different. You want to have uh, quick feedback on those kinds of important changes. Of course, you want to enhance the collaboration. You want something to help you that's better than voicemail, better than meetings, better than email to collaborate with your other team members and your other projects or um, business units that are working on the same product with you, you want to enhance that collaboration to make everything more efficient. Of course, you still want to let people work in the tools that they've always used, or the tools that make them most efficient, where they can add the most value. Um, there's no reason to force a tester to be over in some other system. It doesn't really apply to testing. So integration can help you with that also to be able to transfer the information between systems to make it more valuable to the system that you're in without having to learn other systems, without having to buy licenses for other systems. And of course, the integration, this integration robot um, is going to help you reduce the errors. If you're having to type the same data in multiple systems, then uh, you're going to have issues. You're going to make uh, changes that you didn't intend to make in one system or the other. So reducing the human error is certainly an important point of that integration robot. So the Connect All integration platform is a solution to sharing this information between different teams, different business units um, with minimal impact. We don't want to um, make it difficult to install in different systems. You don't need to install any plugins or add-ins. You don't need administrator permissions. We want to make it easy for all of these systems to communicate. That's why we all use remote interfaces, uh, APIs for these programs to all communicate together. Um, it's also code free. It's point and click. I'll show you in a minute what the uh, product looks like, but it's really um, a very um, straightforward user interface where you pick and choose what you want to integrate between your applications, and there's really no need to write any code in order to implement that. <clears throat> it's very flexible. It can run on the cloud. It can run on-premise. It can integrate with applications even when you have them <coughs> in both environments. And we also support about almost 40 different applications that we can integrate with. Um, of course, there's some really top hitters, like today, Jira Service Desk and Remedy is very popular. Some other integrations are very popular. Um, but um, we continue to add on as customers ask us to integrate with more applications. We continue to do that, um, continue to advance the product further forward. So from a configuration point of view, like we said, um, very much user interface driven. Um, there is a possibility to create scripts if you have really, really complex business rules you want to implement. Those can be scripted, but uh, for almost all customers, all they need to do is to use a user interface to uh, connect the different applications through our mapping console, which is you know actually your browser. Your browser, you log into the user interface part of the Connect All engine. So there's also a background part to the Connect All engine. It runs on top of MuleSoft. 
it does the synchronization, uh, pulling, queuing. It handles all the technical work um, in the background. So that makes it a commercial. Uh, MuleSoft is a, connect, a commercial in, enterprise service bus. Um, allows you to connect this information in a real-time performance kind of way. That's our core engine. So the idea with integrating these different products is be able to escalate issues, communicate issues, make sure everybody understands uh, what the status of a project is. So you might choose a, a central system, maybe something like Jira, maybe using it for backlog management um, to have a, a wide view of what the, all the systems are doing. Um, typical use cases, incidents are brought into uh, Remedy. Um, the support tickets or maybe tickets from your outside customers, they're coming into Jira as long as, as well as maybe other um, points of information. The testers over in a quality center, development, Bitbucket, you know, all this information can be flowing around the system. Um, it's nice if you have a centralized system where you can manage all that, but uh, not necessary, not well, necessary. Have a centralized system, the information can be shared all around, but it is nice to have a, a central dashboard where you can see you know, everything's going on between the applications. So as far as Jira and Remedy is concerned, um, a lot of times a remedy can be used for internal ticketing, maybe external ticketing, whereas JIRA, um, more commonly you yeah. use for a ticketing system that's more technology related. So remedy might be getting tickets from your inside customers, outside customers, uh, or maybe for processing tickets that aren't technology related, or maybe, you know, reset my password, I need a new server installed, but uh, it's quite possible that the people that are using Jira might be more developers, uh, might be working on product releases. So those specific tickets and remedy that relate to that effort could be integrated over into Jira, into Jira service desk. And that's one thing I wanted to mention is this webinar is about Jira service desk, but really our adapter to Jira is performant across all the different Jira product lines. So whether you're using Jira Core, Jira Software, Jira Service Desk, really the integration with that is completely transparent from the Connect All perspective. So yes, it works for Service Desk, but if you're using Scrum or Kanban, it also works with that. So just wanted to make that clear that it's a uh, pretty transparent integration between Jira and Remedy. So, of course, ITSM, um, creating those tickets, processing those tickets, getting status back and forth between the applications. That's what that's all about. And then, again, in Jira, you may be using uh, some agile management techniques like Scrum or Kanban, and you can integrate with all those, too. So that's uh, my inter uh, overview of what um, ConnectAll is all about. Um, how it's configured. Uh, what I want to do now is to show you um, what the product looks like itself and how easy it is to configure. Uh, as we were saying, ConnectAll is a general purpose integration engine. Uh, you download it from our website. You can either install it um, inside your VM, inside, uh, inside your firewall on a VM, where it can reach out to all of your different products, um, applications to integrate with. Or if you want, you can use our cloud version of ConnectAll if you're using other cloud applications like Remedy Cloud and, and Jira Cloud. Then our ConnectAll cloud can integrate with those two. So whichever approach you'd like, um, we support both of those. But basically, once you've got it installed, um, hook it up to a database where we're going to store, keep track of what records are getting synchronized between the applications. And you log in to connect all as an admin. Um, we have lots of different features here that I'm going to go over. But first, I want to show you how you actually enable the integration. So you would simply choose the two applications that you want to integrate. Well, like I was saying, we integrate about 40 different applications um, from um, ALM Octane, um, Quality Center. Uh, we have uh, custom adapters. You can build your own adapters. Say you have a uh, custom application in-house that you want to integrate with your other systems. Uh, we support that, a, a generic database adapter, um, heat, IBM Rational products. 
um, Java, uh, TFS, you know, Microsoft products, um, Perforce, Ranarex, Remedies, um, both 8 and 9 in cloud, whatever version of Remedy you happen to be using. Um, ServiceNow, version 1, Zendesk. So lots of different applications that we would, that we support. So select the two applications that you want to integrate. Um, this is what we call an application link. Give the application link some unique name. And then you can start mapping the projects and the fields that you want to synchronize between the systems. As you can see, I've got a lot, over 200 application links created. I can enable them, disable them, version them. Um, do whatever I want with uh, all of these different applications. So what does it look like when you start creating these application links? Um, whether you're integrating Jira or Remedy or ALM or Salesforce, um, the steps to set up the integration are all very, very, very similar. There are all these three steps that you go through, setting up the URLs, the entities, and then the field mapping. So it's very similar um, between applications. Um, and again, this console is something your administrator will use. You don't, your um, average user um, really doesn't even know connect all is in place. It's just synchronizing the data. Maybe they're now seeing comments, attachments, um, status changes. Um, that they didn't see before the integration was in place, but only the admins need to log into this user interface to set up uh, what products need to be in. So the first step is to put in the URLs of the two applications that you want to integrate. Put in a username that can go out and grab the metadata, like the field names. Doesn't need to be an admin. Uh, usually somebody like a project lead or someone in a developer role is adequate to grab that information. And then how you want to handle conflicts. Conflicts occur in a bi-directional integration when the same field, the same record changes in two systems at the same time. How do you handle that? Well, Connect All handles that automatically one of three ways. Uh, master of record, you choose one system or the other to be the master or whoever made the change first or whoever made the change last. Um, in the rare event this does happen, we also send your admin an email so that they're aware, okay, a change was made in both systems and this system chose to resolve in this way. Your next step is to select the entities that you want to map. From the JIRA perspective, it's what projects that you want to integrate. Um, even with Service Desk, you could have multiple JIRA projects you've set up and uh, different um, issue types. You can integrate um, your bugs and your tasks, any of the standard or custom issue types that you've created over on the JIRA side. On the Remedy side, it's all driven by forms. As you know, in Remedy, you create forms, and on those forms that are fields, so you select what form that you want to integrate with. Uh, my particular example is using the standard help desk form, but really any of the standard or custom um, forms you could select to integrate with. Uh, the way that we integrate the data is by default we'll poll for changes. We'll send a query to the application. Tell us what's changed since our last poll. Your polls can be every minute, every five minutes, every ten minutes on the weekend, on Christmas, <laughs> as often as you would like. Um, we also offer what we call push. So you could create a, say you create a trigger in, Rem in Jira, for example, and that trigger would push the data over to Remedy, and that would be instant, real-time, event-driven. You can have additional business rules in those triggers. Though most of our customers use Poll because it's so much easier to configure. Um, some of the advanced properties associated with this application link. Um, attachments, if you want to sync attachments, uh, you can sync just a URL or the entire attachment file. Um, you can choose a different user to do the actual sync. Maybe you don't want your admin or your project lead to do the sync. Maybe just a service account. All it needs is read and write permissions to synchronize the data. Uh, you also have poll queries, so you can limit the data that's going to be synchronized between the two systems. So maybe in Remedy, you'll create the ticket, um, you'll review and triage the ticket, and maybe uh, you'll have a field in Remedy called uh, maybe Ready for Jira, for example. 
And when that is set, then it would synchronize that ticket over to RIM. So you can control what data is going to be synchronized between the two systems more than just what data is on that form. Like I was saying, most customers will use the poll, but if you want, you can use the push to uh, create a trigger and push the data. Um, you also have control of create versus update. A uh, really important with Remedy, because as you know, Remedy has view forms and it has create forms. So we create one application link where you can define what data would be synchronized on an update versus which ones would be synchronized on a create. In this particular scenario, we're saying that we want to create data in Remedy and create new tickets in Jira and be able to update them. But we don't want any Jira tickets to be created over in Remedy. Um, if you do want that, then, of course, you just select the create option. So that's what we call the bidirectional um, specification. You can do that both at the record level and the field level. And speaking of the field level, that's the last step in your mapping. Uh, we prevent you, uh, present you with the, all the fields that are available, um, both in Remedy um, and also Jira, um, both standard and custom fields. You simply choose the fields that you want to sync in the two systems. Choose what direction you want the data to go, bi-directional, one direction or another. Hit the plus and that'll add that field pair to the list of fields being synchronized. You can see a number of fields that were being synchronized, um, standard fields, uh, custom fields. We can put in constants if we always want to put the same value into a field. We can also map the values between two systems. So like in this example, um, the values of the status field, um, they're not the same in both systems. So we can configure how we want to synchronize that field in what direction. Um, um, in one direction, and it's uh, also very simple. It's just to pick and choose and selecting what values you want. Uh, we also have some advanced mappings, a uh, default mapping. So when you create a new record, um, you can uh, specify, you know, if this field doesn't have a value, what you want to set it to. That's really helpful if your destination system has required fields. Then you could either always set them to a constant or maybe just on create. You want to make sure that they have some default value. We also have advanced mappings. So like if it's null or an else statement, you know, you can have more complex mappings. Um, more than the simple mappings that we have here. And like I said a little while ago, if you have really complex mapping and if then else statement or maybe you need to go out to another system to verify or validate the data being communicated, you can write a business script, drop that on the Connect All server, and I can do um, as much complex work as you need to do. So once you've made all these changes, then you would click on Save and put it in a check-in comment. That's because we store all the old versions of your of your uh, application list. So maybe you made a change and you realize, well, you don't like that. You want to go back to a previous version. You can use a previous version. Also, we have default field mapping. So uh, maybe you don't want to go through and figure out what all those fields are. Just use the defaults and start with that. Yeah. Certainly, you can do that too. So some of the other features within the Connect All console, um, we can show the dashboard. In the dashboard, we can see what's going on within the system. We can uh, show an activity pane, which shows you in real time the data that's getting synchronized. You can see all your application links, how often they're synced. If you want to, maybe you've got an application link that's synced every hour. Maybe you want to sync it right now. Just click on the blue button. If you want to change that sync interval to some other time, you can click on reschedule and you can put in every minute, every hour, every day, however often that you would like. Uh, you can also see the error logs um, down at the record level. So I can see these errors have successfully synced. I can also see these um, records have failed to sync. And I could pull up um, an error log here and I can see exactly what the problem was. Maybe I forgot to map a required field. So I would fix that mapping. 
and then I could click here. It'll resync that one record to make sure my mapping was not correct. We also have histograms, so you can see how much data is getting synchronized between applications. So that's uh, really helpful in tuning your applications or connect all. You can see how much data is being transferred. Um, we also have um, other reports. Um, we also have alarms that we sent out. So um, we send out alarms under different conditions. Maybe a sync has failed. Maybe one of your application servers are, are down for an upgrade. So we can send out notifications to your admin of when those conditions occur. If you want, we could uh, send those out to um, project leads. In fact, your project leads can manage their own projects. We would just add them as a user into Connect All, put them in a security group so they can manage only their own project. Um, of course, you can also set up what email server you want to use for notifications, what database you want to use in the background to store your record links. Uh, we support Oracle, MySQL, SQL Server, and Postgres. And then also um, uh, what Mule server you would want to use in the background as the synchronization engine. So that's pretty much the demo of ConnectAll and how easy it is to set up a configuration. Um, from the perspective of the user, like I was saying, when you create a ticket in one system, it within about a minute, it'll be sync over to the other application. Then you can change fields or status. So if you're looking at the Remedy user interface, it's very standard. Uh, we didn't change the user interface at all. Create a ticket, and then it gets synced over to Jira. You see the information over in Jira. Over in Jira, maybe you would change the status or add a question or maybe change uh, the priority field. And then that data would automatically get synced between the two applications. Uh, we're running short on time. I want to have a little time for questions. But th that's the basic integration. If you would like to have more information or a more complete demo that follows your specific use case, um, just reach out to sales, and we would be glad to schedule that for you. So at this time, I want to turn it back over to Meritess. Emeritus, if you have any questions, um, I'd be glad to answer them. Uh, yes, um, from the attendees, um, if you have any questions, you can write it on the uh, control panel uh, of GoToWebinar. So for now, we have a couple of questions here, uh, Doug. Um, I have a BMC Remedy and um, ServiceNow. Is it going to be the same user interface for Connect All in terms of integrating BMC Remedy and ServiceNow? Exactly, yes. So whether you're integrating, say, Remedy or ServiceNow or Salesforce or Quality Center, um, these three basic steps you always go through to set up your integration. So it's very consistent. Um, of course, you might run into some unique on um, parameters, like in this case, um, Remedy, you might have an AR server on a different port. So, you you know, there may be minor differences, but um, overall, the same basic steps are used to set up uh, your integration. Another question here. Um, with Connect All Change, our process flow in order to synchronize information between mm. two applications. I'm sorry, could you say that again? Um, would Connect All change our process flow in order to synchronize information? Uh, between okay. yeah. Got it. Got it. So it would, you don't have to change your process flow. As you can see, it's pretty flexible on the fields that you can map. And when the values are different, you can map those different values. But that brings up an interesting question, because what most people find out is when you put an integration in place, it really highlights the differences in processes between teams. And then, of course, the obvious question would be, how come this development team and that development team have different processes? Wouldn't it be better if they had similar processes? So it usually raises the question to actually take a look at those processes, review them, and probably improve them as you roll out your integration. 
population. Very, very good question. Um, there's another question here, and um, probably the last question. I would like to know how how do you do the first load? For example, when you finish configuring your application link and you need to get data created since January, how do you do this first load? Thank you. Yeah, very good question. So we have a feature within ConnectAll. Um, the, the standard mode of ConnectAll is to synchronize the data as it's modified. Um, though we do have a special field here called sync start time. So say I've set up my integration and now I want to create um, these tickets in Remedy that satisfy this criteria. And I want to sync all of the tickets, maybe from the last year, um, over to the other application. So I can put in a date time stamp of, say, a year ago. And then connect all will synchronize all that data in the last year over to the other a application. Of course, the data that um, meets the criteria, you know, on this form and with this uh, particular um, filter query, whatever filter query you use. So good question. Good question. A lot of times we'll do that when we first roll it out. All right. Um, so we have reached the end of our session, and I thank you all for joining this webinar. Uh, please stay tuned for the upcoming webinars uh, on Connect All, and hope to see you again uh, soon. Thank you very much, and have a good day.